welcome to Ag Dealer TV. I'm your host this week, Scott Garvey. You know, most farms, medium and large scale, have at least one Class 8 truck now that forms part of the farm fleet. For the most part, a lot of them are just retired highway tractors and producers looked for a truck that was in good condition and at a good price. However, a couple of models of trucks have remained really popular with farmers and a lot of other people over the years. One of them is the W900 Kenworth. Those trucks have looked very similar for a lot of years. So here at Inland Kenworth in Winnipeg, I'm going to take a look at what a new W900 has to offer, how it might differ from that older vintage one on your farm. So I'm here with Andy Willerton, who's in the sales department at Inland Kenworth in Winnipeg. And those of you that surf the internet may know Andy by a different name. Andy, the Kenworth guy. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> so you're famous on YouTube. You've got your own website. You're a promoter of Kenworth products. Yep. And we're here. There's a Winnipeg winter going on out there. But inside here, we're nice and warm with a premium example of a 2021 W900 yep. truck looks almost identical to the earlier models. This truck's famous, it's been in television, Smokey and the Bandit. So tell me about these 2021s. Well, uh, the 2021s, it hasn't really changed much over the years. The, the last major refresh that we did was on the interior, uh, just changing the dash around, but uh, it's been pretty much the same for close to, I guess the last 13 years or so. 07 was the last change that they made on the interior. But uh, we've just been promoting it and making changes, updating headlights, uh, doing things like updating to things like this from uh, other uh, suppliers in, in, in the industry. Uh, but yeah, they've, they've been basically the same for almost 60 years. And uh, you know, short of, short of a few things, but as, what's, what's new, we are stocking lots of project trucks here, uh, custom paint designs, uh, all sorts of aftermarket chrome accessories just to make you know somebody wanting to buy a W900 have something that really just has a punch, you know? So you can spec these trucks out a lot of different ways, right? Absolutely, uh, you can spec them with a day cab, which we've sold to people in the farm industry, great for hauling Super B grain trailers, uh, and a nice looking truck on the farm too, uh, all the way up to the big studio sleepers if for, for the long haul guys, so, and, and a few other bunk sizes in between with various engine horsepower sizes to choose from too. Different engine manufacturers available as well? So in our W900L, the long hood, uh, you can get the Cummins X15, which has been a bulletproof engine. Uh, we've had great success with that. In our W900B, we have the Packard engine and our, uh, in our Cummins engine as well. So in the short hood, you can get both options there. So, and, and that would spec out really well with an 18 speed for a Super B grain, set of grain hoppers. Yeah, 100%. And then you put some Super 40s on the back end or 46s and you're ready to go to work. Yep. So on the outside, you might be mistake, you could mistake this for Sonny Pruitt's truck <laughs> from uh, moving on the television show. Yeah. But underneath, a lot has changed. Oh, for so sure. can we open up the hood and take a look at what's there? Let's do that. So under the hood, this example has the X15 15 liter Cummins. Correct, yep. So what else have we got under here that's, uh, that's new compared to an older truck? Well, uh, back in 2007, uh, not to go too long into history there, but uh, in 2007, the EPA brought on a diesel particulate filter. So that's on the opposite side of the truck here, uh, underneath the step box uh, that's trapping all the carbon. Uh, we added diesel exhaust fluid in 2010 and uh, have been improving on that system for the last 10 years. Uh, so there's emissions controls on these trucks, uh, which is new compared to say like a, a, a mechanical engine or like a 2000 model year. Um, so, so that's some, some things that are new. Uh, as far as other things that, that are underneath here, um, you know, all your, your standard componentry, uh, like your, your axles, your brakes, your, your heated fuel water separators. Uh, we do put disc brakes on trucks sometimes, which provides a, a better stopping experience for customers and uh, lower maintenance costs as well. So. 
So I see no airbag on the front. You, is airbag suspension available on the front as well? Not on the W900 model, but we do offer that on some other models, which we do sell a lot of into the farming applications. So uh, the T800 model, which is its sister, uh, the T880, which is the newer wider cab, and uh, you gotta love these masks, eh? Yeah, no kidding, this COVID <laughs> is really putting a crimp in this. Um, and uh, uh, the T680 models has air ride cab on the front end, but or air ride uh, front axle. Uh, but the 900, it's an aftermarket conversion. So nice easy access to everything under the hood here. That, that, that hood tilts almost, almost full 90 vertically. Degrees. Yeah, 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 a full 90 degrees, easy access, no doghouse. The engine is nice and far forward, so it's easy to service and work on if you need to do that, if you're keeping and it for a long time. Air filters on the outside, easy to access. Yeah, the the 15 inch air breathers, which gives it that classic Kenworth mean look, okay. but also very functional and serviceable for sure. So on this side, uh, Andy, some things to talk about. Okay, so starting up high here, we have your HVAC system. Uh, so the heating, ventilation, air conditioning unit. So that's all easy to access and service outside here. Uh, you can also put on an aftermarket filter here if you're in a really dusty or uh, lots of debris kind of uh, chaff in the, the farm fields. Put that on there just to keep your, your uh, HVAC system nice and clean. Uh, if you are running a lot of gravel roads or you're, you're uh, in those types of washboard situations, I like to put on these brackets down here. This supports the side of the front fender so that the, the truck paint will not crack on your fender and not sag. If a farmer is buying a truck like this, they're keeping it for 15, 20 years. So you want it to stay looking good long term and that's definitely something that helps out. So as far as access on this side, it's a nice clean, you can see everything. Uh, you got your turbo, your alternator, your AC compressor, everything's really accessible and easy to get to. So here at the back, Andy, some things to mention. Yeah, so uh, the trucks don't come from the factory with uh, a half fender. You do have a quarter fender, but uh, what I like to do is just put on this particular truck, we put the deep drop so they're nice and low, so you get that really kind of mean look. Uh, but that is something that can be totally customized. A lot of farmers will like to put on the, uh, the full tub style fenders. Uh, it keeps the gravel off the back of the truck. You can put those over both axles. We're a dealer for minimizer. Uh, which, which is a nice durable plastic fender that we offer. As far as tires, we have various options uh, to order from the factory. Bridgestone, Michelin, Goodyear, Yokohama, uh, and, and uh, in various sizes, 22s to 24 inch uh, rubber. Aluminum steel rims are options, different polish levels. It's totally customized. It's like building a house. So we will take the time to sit down and inspect it right for the guy. Are you finding any preference with farmers uh, opting for 24s over 22s or is the, it a mix? The further west I go, it's more in the taller rubber, so more in the 24 five size. Uh, you know, Manitoba market is fairly predominant 22s, but uh, there are some people that want to have extra ground clearance and uh, the 24s can, can help a, a customer achieve that. Uh, some other things we can customize is the suspension. Uh, there's four different air ride suspension options that Kenworth has plus other manufacturers. So we have a lot of options to choose from. And then uh, I love the sun coming in and making this paint sparkle. That metallic really shines, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's, uh, it's called Legendary Red. And uh, so we, we custom ordered this with Legendary Red. And then on the front, the scallops are Legendary Champagne. So it has that really high metal flake in there. And then I also painted fuel tanks aftermarket just to bring the, this particular truck up to the standards that it's at right now. So one of the things that somebody who's got an older Kenworth won't have is this kind of high-rise bunk sleeper, right? And and probably on the interiors where we might notice the most change on these models. Yeah, there's a lot more room inside. Uh, the, the old Aerodyne 1, uh, which I have some customers that still run those trucks in the, in the mid-90s, uh, those trucks have a stand-up bunk, but uh, they don't have the the, the spread out kind of do jumping jack space that these ones here have. Let's take a look inside. You betcha. Okay, Andy, so inside, this is uh, not your 60s vintage truck in here. Well, not, not totally. Uh, it kind of has some echoes from the past, but uh, definitely some uh, updated technologies that the trucks are coming with now. So uh, it's a fully multiplex wired dash, so it's easy to, uh, to connect new, new gauges and switches. Uh, you know, we ordered this truck with a full gauge package. You can also get it uh, with a navigation screen if a person wants. Uh, leather wrapped steering wheel, you get the controls in your steering wheel like your half ton has uh, for cruise control. Your Jake brakes are in there as well. 
uh, tilt telescopic steering wheel, full locking differentials. Uh, we, this is where we've updated uh, to some of the uh, newer style switches where they have the rocker switches as opposed to the toggles. Uh, some of the old school truckers really don't like that, but uh, this has been around for you know a good uh, 13 years or so, and I think it's pretty widely accepted now. But uh, yeah, so it's a very nice, well-appointed interior with the old school traditional diamond VIT uh, that this truck is equipped with here. And we did it in the, the uh, Bordeaux red color to kind of match the outside. Uh, yeah. So leather seats and nice in here. Um, this, the interior obviously is as customizable as the exterior. Most certainly. Uh, some things as simple as uh, stowable armrests. So for some customers where the belly is a little bit bigger, you need a little bit more room. Uh, these are a narrower cab. Uh, so something that we've, we started offering is a stowable armrest. So these armrests will go back and then flip out of the way. So you have almost a, a little over a foot of space between the seats and uh, you gain that extra six inches of space uh, to get in and out. And other things, you know, transmissions are customizable. You can get manual or automatic. Uh, you have four different interior color choices and uh, a lot of options in the sleeper as well that you can customize. So I see this one's already got a CB in it. 10-4. Um, so does that come from the factory or uh, is that a dealer install? No, that is a factory install uh, option. So you can, you know, uh, Billy Big Rigger, you can talk uh, trucker lingo. <laughs> right. And a lot of farms will have their own FM series yeah. uh, radio. So what I what we do, this watch how easy this is. You can just hit this button. This whole thing pops down. Uh, you can order it without the CB radio and it's got a pre-wire for hooking up a two-way FM. So installation is a lot less costly and really easy to do. Perfect. Now, you mentioned that um, some, a lot of your farm customers were opting for the T880 rather than the W900. Yeah, well, with the W900 being a longer wheelbase truck, a little bit more difficult to maneuver. Uh, you know, it, it gives the T800 with a setback uh, front axle or the T880, the new style wider cab. You have all the comfort with the new style cab and the setback axle. It gives you something that works really functional on, on the farm. So I don't know if you want to take a look at that for a minute. I was just going to say, I, I think I noticed one sitting in, by your office door. Yeah, it's just behind me here. So why don't we go and take a peek? For sure. This is the T880 we were talking about. Yep, absolutely. So we brought this model out in 2013. Uh, so it's been out for, for quite a few years now and uh, it's been widely accepted in the vocational markets. Uh, we sell this in the day cab configuration a lot. Uh, gravel haulers, farm grain haulers, uh, you know, guys in construction, they're very, uh, it's been widely accepted. So I assume that this is available in a lower spec option, like a more basic cab, more... more. You're looking at it. This is basically the basic cab uh, with the old style cabs they were a lot narrower and a lot smaller so when we designed this new truck we kept that in mind so that we we have a bigger cab and a more comfortable cab to begin with without having to pay for additional options so with our t800 and our w900 they had the standard cab and then an extended cab option this you just get the extended cab to begin with and under the hood the cummins cummins and packer. packer those are the two choices and we probably sell more packers in personally uh, the the t880s than the uh, cummins engine in in this option and a big part of that is to do with weight uh, guys hauling a certain payload that they need to maximize what they get in the box uh, you need to keep your weight on the truck down and these are a light cab and you put a packer engine it's a lighter engine to begin with too so I imagine obviously the no sleeper here. So it's it's probably going to be a lower cost option than the W900. Absolutely, yeah. So so these ones here side by side, uh, you're going to save quite a bit of money uh, with with this truck here compared to the other one that we were just looking at for sure. Depends on if you want functionality or or style and that's functionality. What I, that's what I call the cost of cool. <laughs> <laughs> so and you uh, being a Kenworth dealer, you're obviously you, you're keeping uh, you, you get older W900s, older T80s in as well yes. regularly. Yeah. So uh, I work in this main building here, but in the building beside us is our used truck super center. So we have a dedicated used truck sales guy. I sell used trucks as well, but uh, his job is to strictly sell used trucks. So. 
uh, we certainly have a huge offering. And then being part of Inland, we pull trucks in from BC uh, and Saskatchewan to come to our Winnipeg market here and service our customers with, with a lot of inventory choices. Andy, thanks for taking the time today with uh, Ag Dealer TV. Yeah. And if you guys are looking for, for some expertise that you want to surf uh, when you're online, check out Andy's YouTube channel. Yeah, it's just search up uh, the Kenworth guy. You can see us there. Uh, I have a website, thekenworthguy.com, and then obviously inland-group.com is, is the dealership group that we're a part of here. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. And thanks for watching.